does have a small town feeling. It's a very welcoming feeling. You, you meet people and you say, well, where are you from? I say, Newburyport. Oh my God, I love Newburyport. Newburyport is a popular destination. People love Newburyport because of events like the annual Yankee Homecoming, the natural beauty of Plum Island and Maudsley State Park, the ongoing arts and cultural scene, and the Summer Riverfront Music Festival. The housing market is hot, with home buyers drawn to the city's amenities and its historic homes. And one of the biggest attractions has always been the Merrimack River, starting 250 years ago when the city was founded as a prosperous port and shipbuilding hub. Today, Newburyport's rich history is still celebrated and preserved. Back in the 1970s, community leaders chose to revive the historic city center, fighting against developers who wanted to build a more modern downtown. Their efforts led to a successful Newburyport renaissance. They spent a lot of time in Washington helping to convince HUD that urban renewal doesn't have to be equated with bulldozing and destroying downtowns to rebuild, you can preserve. And so hence, from the great work of my predecessors, I get to inherit this magnificent downtown and am charged with you know, ensuring its upkeep and its beauty. That downtown is filled with close to 500 small businesses, supported by an active Chamber of Commerce. New Report is a very um, quintessential business-friendly community. Um, we you know, welcome folks who have a new idea or have an existing business. Um, we are surrounded by natural resources that make many CEOs and people uh, with innovative ideas want to come to New Report so that they can have the live, work, life, play balance that you have here. So how have you been? Some of those businesses have a history of their own, like the Inn Street Barbershop, whose most recent owner, Esther Sayer, has worked there for more than three decades. Yeah, what are the plans for the summer? Anything going on? This has been here since 1926, but you know, there were stores that have been here for well over 30 years, 35 years. If they weren't doing well, they wouldn't be here. It's a close community, it's a, it is a community. And that's what I do enjoy about it. Whenever there's anything going on or any type of a fundraiser, people get involved. And I think when you have a business, it's what you should do. You get yourself involved. And the Newburyport community believes in supporting its own, which has helped the owners of a relatively new business like the Chococo Bakery turn their whoopie pies into a sweet success. It's part of the Newburyport culture to give back to the community and to support their local businesses. They will go to a local cafe before they go to a chain. That's just part of their nature. They like to bring their friends in and it always will be part of our success. We can't do this alone. But Newburyport is more than just a vibrant downtown business district. The city's business and industry park is also vital to the city's economy. Mike Strem was one of the first business owners in the park when he moved Strem Chemicals to Newburyport back in 1978. One of the things that, that appealed to me about locating in, in this area was that it was close to Boston and Cambridge. And that is really one of the best high-tech areas in the world. We're close to Boston by train, by bus, and by uh, Interstate 95 and then the industrial park is easy to get to and it's grown but it hasn't grown to the point where it's inconvenient so i thought it was it'd be a very good place to attract people to uh, to come to stroman bixby international is a 140 year old plastics company that moved to newburyport in the 1980s we do provide some tax base uh, and that's important and, and uh, we really hope that that helps the downtown area and i, and I think it does uh, we're proud to be a part of that but we feel part of the community, um, and I think uh, that's important. We're, the local government and the chamber makes us feel a part of the community. There's also a really great uh, uh, pool to, to pull from for our uh, employees. Educated, motivated, very talented employee base. All those things uh, combined make it a great place to, to run a business. And as the city commemorates its 250th birthday, community leaders are focused on Newburyport's continued growth and success. The reason the 250th is so important is because we are celebrating sort of where we've been from our maritime history right now to being named a cultural district, uh, to being named a Coast Guard city two years ago. Those are things that not many communities can claim stake to, and I think that's what makes Newburyport unique and different and vibrant and exciting. I'm incredibly optimistic. We just continue to sort of pay attention, you know, in terms of what is important, and people love a walkable, bikeable, 
you know, a city where you can live, work, and play, and that's exactly what we are in Newburyport.